Welcome to PGS Aquatics, your wholesale aquarium source. Now, we live in a world full of really nice in-sump AC and DC return pumps. So why then are these big external AC Iwaki return pumps still a thing? Hawaki was established in 1956 and started out as a chemical pump manufacturer. Many of us in the aquarium hobby think of Hawaki as an aquarium pump manufacturer. The reality is that Hawaki makes a vast array of pumps for many different industries, including chemical, water and sewage, food processing, medical, and of course, the aquarium industry. The Iwaki pumps we use on our aquarium systems aren't just designed for aquarium use. They're high-end industrial pumps designed and built for many different industries. When you add an Iwaki pump to your system, you aren't adding an inexpensive consumer product to your tank. You're adding an industrial pump with industrial grade qualities. These are the same pumps used in medical equipment, airport x-rays, and scientific lasers. There are two different styles of Iwaki aquarium pumps for the US market. There are the pumps with the American motors, and then there's the pumps with the Japanese motors. The pumps with the American motors are a bit bigger, a bit noisier than their Japanese counterparts, and in our experience, they just don't have the longevity of the pumps with the Japanese motors. At PGS Aquatics, we only carry the Japanese version of the Iwaki Mag Drive pump. We have been running these on our commercial systems for many years, and we commonly get 10 plus years of continuous service out of these pumps. So let's get back to that original question. Why run an external Iwaki water pump when you could run a pump in the sump? First off is heat. Every pump produces heat. And in the case of the internal return pump, all of the heat is transferred to the aquarium's water. This can become a major problem on a hot summer's day. An externally plumbed pump like the Iwaki transfers most of the heat to the room, reducing its heating effect on the tank. Next, let's talk about head pressure. Most return pumps will have a chart that shows the flow rate at a given height. The higher the pump has to pump the water, the less flow you will get from the pump until it reaches its max head height, and the pump can no longer pump water any higher. Most in-sump pumps don't produce as high of a head pressure as the external Iwaki. In general, most internal pumps will have a max head pressure between 10 and 20 feet. The Iwaki's high head pressure can be very useful. When plumbing a large system, or if you're planning to have your sump in a different room or even on a different floor. Me personally, I'm one of those people with my sump infiltration in the basement and the tank itself is upstairs. This Awaki MD70RLT is specially designed to handle high head pressure and has a maximum head height of 31.8 feet. Need to go higher? This pump's big brother, the Awaki MD100RLT has a maximum head height of 39 feet, meaning your sump can be in the basement and your tank could be on the second floor of your house. There isn't an internal return pump that I'm aware of that can match a 39 foot head pressure. Finally, there's reliability. The Iwaki pumps are some of the most reliable pumps on the market, oftentimes giving 10 plus years of service with little maintenance. Iwaki does this by producing an industrial pump for the hobbyist market. These are magnetic drive sealless pumps, meaning it will never leak. Many pumps have mechanical seals that will leak over time. So why do so many Iwaki pumps still run commercial and consumer aquariums all over the world? It's because they have great head pressures. They're quiet, energy efficient, and incredibly reliable. This is the pump you buy because you want it to work and you want it to work without problems for years to come. Thanks for watching this episode of PGS Aquatics. And remember, PGS Aquatics is your wholesale aquarium source.